Campus Camera, celebrating the University of Saskatchewan. These photographs portray the rich and colorful history of the University of Saskatchewan, which began when the University Act of 1907 established a publicly funded, independent institution of higher learning for the province. Since April 8, 1909, when the Board of Governors announced that the University would be located in Saskatoon, it has played an important role in the economic, political, and social life of the city. To mark the institution's first century, the local history room drew from its extensive photograph collection a celebration of the university, focusing on the social aspects of the relationship between town and gown, and highlighting such aspects of student life as the snake dance, Sadie Hawkins, Frosh Week, the intensely vigorous College Nine, sports rivalries, and campus celebrities. The decision of where to locate the university was not reached until April 7, 1909. A crowd of 5,000 gathered at the Canadian Northern Railway Station on First Avenue to greet the Honourable Archie P. McNabb, Minister of Municipal Affairs, and University Governors James Klingskill and W. J. Bell, when they arrived home from Regina with the news that Saskatoon had been chosen. On the afternoon of May 4, 1910, the first thought of the present site of the University was turned by Chancellor Edward Ludlow Wetmore, Chief Justice of Saskatchewan. On his right stands James Klingskill, Vice Chairman of the Board of Governors, and on his left, University President Dr. Walter C. Murray. On July 29, 1910, Sir Wilfrid Laurier, then Prime Minister of Canada, came to Saskatoon for the laying of the cornerstone of the college building. It was Sir Wilfrid's first visit to Saskatoon, and a large number of notables were in the city to see him. Lieutenant Governor Forget, Reverend Principal Lloyd of Emmanuel College, James Clingskill of the Board of Governors, and the Honourable Walter Scott, Premier of Saskatchewan, took part in the ceremony. Shorthorn Ayrshire and Holstein Frisian cows at milking time in the cattle wing of the main barn. Designed by Montreal architect Hugh Valance, the stone and timber building was completed in 1912. The white uniformed man doing the milking may be John Ernest Taylor, who worked there at the time. Students stand outside the Livestock Pavilion on a cold day in 1915. Constructed of red brick, the pavilion cost $20,000 when it was completed in 1912. It was roofed with slate shingles except for the upper quarter, where translucent glass allowed for natural light. It served as the major teaching and demonstration facility for the Department of Agriculture. The Livestock Pavilion was demolished in 1986. Assembling at Coppell Hall, the members of Convocation in their academic robes march in procession past Saskatchewan Hall to the College Building, where degrees and certificates will be conferred upon the graduates in Convocation Hall. Bread and jam was a snack of choice for these five university students. Derwood White, the young man on the left, studied pharmacy at the University of Saskatchewan in 1923-24 after apprenticing for three years at the Wright Drugstore in Mooseman. After graduating, White operated the drugstore in Woboda from 1926 until his death in 1953. The University of Saskatchewan Memorial Gates and Tablet commemorate the 67 students and faculty members who died in the Great War of 1914 to 1918. A committee chaired by Major Howard McConnell raised $10,000 for the stone tablet on which are inscribed the names of the fallen. 
the university provided $20,000 for the ornamental gates. The memorial was erected in 1927-28 and dedicated during convocation on May 3, 1928. The University of Saskatchewan has produced many world champions. Among them is this regal fowl. Lady Victorine, a barred Plymouth rock pullet, produced a record 358 eggs in 365 days in 1928-29. Fame is fleeting. Lady Victorine's world record was surpassed in 1930 by a black Orpington pullet from Australia. A couple strolls by the front of the college building in this early 1930s photograph. Constructed between 1910 and 1912, the University of Saskatchewan's first building was the hub of campus life. The university greenhouses originally served as laboratories for various departments. The Department of Physiology occupied greenhouse number one. Dr. John Fittis, Professor of Physiology, is in the greenhouse with members of the Second Year Medicine Physiology class of 1936-37. Before the construction of Rutherford Rink, University of Saskatchewan students played hockey outdoors. The varsity rink measured 100 feet by 200 feet with a 10-foot high fence to provide protection from the prairie north winds. Located near the university barns, drainage from the barns often resulted in yellow ice. Established in 1910 as the Department of Agricultural Extension, the University of Saskatchewan Extension Division offered various services to the farming community, including short courses. Participants at this 1944 poultry short course take notes and listen attentively to their instructor. Putting your best foot forward at the University of Saskatchewan as these college kids go through their exercise routine with the precision worthy of Busby Berkeley. The first sheep arrived on the University farm in 1911. Under the watchful eyes of the University farm shepherd and his dogs, the University flock grazed on and around the University campus for many years. Each spring, the flock would move out to the pasture land in the Dundurn Beaver Creek area, where shepherd, dogs, and sheep would spend the summer. Students run a mixed relay race at Griffith Stadium. Built largely with student labor and financed through a fundraising campaign, Griffith Stadium was opened in the fall of 1936 as Western Canada's first combined track and football facility. Students from the S11 and S12 classes at the University of Saskatchewan 1949 Summer School presented a display of mass calisthenics. The occasion was the annual Gymboree held in Griffith Stadium. Dances were the major social events of the year for university students. They were held either in Convocation Hall or in a hotel ballroom downtown. Under the watchful eyes of chaperones, these couples kick up their heels and kick off their shoes on the floor of the Convocation Hall in 1949. With saddle oxfords or white bucks, bobby socks or no socks, t-shirts or suit and tie, sport shirt or no shirt, this unidentified University of Saskatchewan photograph demonstrates the wide range of student fashion in 1950.
with the boys in pleated drapes and the girls in bobby socks and cap-sleeved blouses these nineteen fifty students square dance before an appreciative audience in the university gymnasium Students play table tennis in the basement clubrooms of the original St. Thomas More College building. The white frame house on College Drive was built in 1927 to serve as Newman Hall and after 1936 as the home of the newly established Catholic College. It was replaced in 1957. These students are studying in the reading room of the newly completed Murray Memorial Library. Planning for a new university library building dates back as far as 1930, but it was not until 1954 that construction began on a new building. Named after the university's first president, Dr. Walter C. Murray, the library officially opened November 30, 1956. The intensely vigorous College 9, all 14 of them, strike a pose on their float for the annual Frosh Week Parade. This incarnation of the band included Jim Friesen, Dwayne Cott, Bruce Rawson, Wayne Jenner, Gord Sipko, Sam Filer, Bill Alexander, Jay Handel, Bruce Haig, Jack McDonald, Bob's Caldwell, Bill Cram, David Natitian and Bob Burchill. University of Saskatchewan President W. P. Thompson presents the Governor General's Gold Medal to Grace Irene Jasper at Convocation on May 10, 1957. A long line of snake dancers winds its way through downtown Saskatoon. Starting at Griffith Stadium, some 1,000 freshmen snake dance their way along College Drive, down Moreau Avenue to 12th Street, and down 12 to 5 corners. Repairs to the University Bridge in the fall of 1957 forced them to take the Broadway Bridge. Downtown, many co-eds saw the inside of a beer parlor for the first time shouting, We want a pub in the mub! They danced through the Capitol Theatre and barged into the arena where wrestling was in progress before dispersing at the Legion Hall. Surrounded by the city, these crop research test plots testify to the important role that agriculture has played in the history of the University. Over the years, the University has pioneered in the development of disease-resistant grains and the introduction of new crop varieties. A snowy day at the University of Saskatchewan as students walk past Saskatchewan Hall in the winter of 1969. The physics building can be seen in the distance. U of S Huskies wide receiver Kevin Sawatsky would score two touchdowns when the Huskies played host to the Alberta Golden Bears of the Western Intercollegiate Football League. Despite his efforts, the Huskies would be defeated by Alberta 26-21 in this October 1983 game. Director Henry Wolfe's punk rock version of William Shakespeare's Hamlet featured actors Marina Stevenson, lying on motorcycle, John Stade, David McKnight, and Kelly Carby. The Greystone Theatre presentation opened to mixed reviews in November 1983. Pranks and practical jokes are a regular feature of campus life. A crowd of students watched two successful contestants carry the greased pig in the greased pig contest sponsored by Vocational Agriculture.
We hope you enjoyed our virtual recreation of Campus Camera, celebrating the University of Saskatchewan. The University of Saskatchewan Archives and the Saskatchewan Archives Board kindly lent photos for the exhibit. The original show was held February 2007 and curated by Ron Jeremko. We invite you to visit local history the next time you are at the Francis Morrison Central Library.